Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. I'm your host, Zinalif. Last last time we started to invade the purple Wild War AI. And it went very well. The plan is to let my units heal up a bit and siege the city down until their units start taking damage. Though, I hope this quest army doesn't siege one of my cities. That'd be very unhelpful. Right as I said it, of course. The truth must be accepted, even when it is unpleasant. A hack seems to be silent for the moment, but it is likely that things will flare up when you announce your latest idea, permitting beings of assimilated factions to rise up to high-level posts in your government. If allies can be trusted, why should they not be exploited to the fullest? It is a time of consolidation and reflection, for the knowledge you have gained requires time and analysis before it can be acted upon. But your convictions remain clear in two points. First, that Ariga is a dangerous place that requires buildings of exceptional strength for our people that survive whatever forces destroyed those who came before you. Second, that the wild walkers must be open and inclusive to any and all people's ideas and improvements that can help secure the future. Certainly, those who built the ruins had knowledge of engineering far beyond what is known today. Your eyes burn as you read the ancient texts, your ears ring with the debates and arguments of scholars. It has been days since you swung a sword or fired a bow in earnest, but you are on Antio, and your people come first. I... Hmm, interesting. Raise a city center and a district to the level 2. I think that part is literal, so... I have a city center on level 2 and a district level 2, so... It should auto complete next turn. I want to avoid triangles in the early game. Later, when you actually need the approval, it's better to build in triangles or straight lines like this. Two rows wide.
I think it's worth it to break off the siege. Kill that stack first. And I'll get the defenders there as well. fire with a ranged unit if you use up all your movement. So, well they're faster than my hero at least, still. Not faster than those two. One, two. Or one, two, three, four, five. So. Don't care if I sacrifice the vine snakes. They don't scale that well because they only have one equipment slot. She can go to whatever. Three, four. Actually, let's do this because it seems that cities don't give stats when you aren't in a battle that involves them.
One, two, three, four. Finally, this will make it a lot easier. <laughs> Look at that retrofit cost though. Forty-two base defense. <laughs> well, thirty-six base life. That is, in fact, pretty awful. Let's get another neutral faction slot so we can incorporate the Kazanji. No, the. Haunts. And build a few of those as our meat shields. Then this one. Let's just spam watchtowers so we don't waste production. How much? They give region as yes, 15%. And there is a watchtower here as well. So let's, let's regenerate using it.
not looking for a location to settle in this region. Maybe it's better if I just leave that one out for now and go towards here because it has a river. Let's see how many militia it regions this turn. One militia. That's their stack moving towards me. They have six movement, so I'll have to be very careful if I want to send the settler out alone. Let's see how much I need for another hero. 600 dust or 500 if I use an exclusive one. solid. Oh, he does have another city up there. Of course, the borders, I could see them before. I can just attack immediately against just militia. Just in case that I don't kill in a single volley, position my units for maximum defense. here. Gold. Gold is very good for us. And yes, very reasonable buildings as well, I'm happy with those. Maybe central market before that one. And just yeah, I won't starve, which is fine. Can I grow in a no I can't. It's no forests. might lose my happiness bonus. Um, that is the 15% dust and science from Empire approval if I take this city immediately. 
but I should do so. Just so there are no surprises coming from above. I built this watchtower and didn't actually use it for anything. Um, how much does a unit cost? Not enough. I mean, too much. attack my settler in reinforcement range, I don't have to use an action point to kill the roaming army. And because I have much higher initiative, as they have like 30, I can protect my settler. Again, they'll siege. And not attack in the first turn. Really? Let's see if we would actually take a truce. Nope. Never seen them do that actually. damage. Something without 50 health. Hm, everything can actually survive. That's great. One, two, three, four, five. But I act first. One, two, three, four, five. So there immediately and those are my morale boosters I guess they won't actually be able to rush up to me because of the forest First sewer system, central market, right of way, glass deal, sisters. I 
I'll get to rearranging those when it actually matters. Where are those flying guys? I don't see them. Okay. If I do get attacked, I can just run away because of the minor faction movement bonus. I actually have half movement speed more than them. And I can just retreat if they attack. Let's take a peek at this room. Best. Now might be a good time to get rid of those as well. Since I'll be able to get back in the next turn and they'll just siege the first turn. So that is 19 minus 5, 14, and they had 8 here. So they have another city somewhere. Of course, this region at least. Forest tiles. Some forest here. Maybe I should just get the Ardent Mage if there is one. There doesn't seem to be. Okay, if I get it this turn, this is the choice I have. Dust boost 1. Industry efficiency freeze. Good. Yeah, let's just go with that then. Right, you can assign in the same turn. bit over the place. They have some governor and some army leader passive skills here. Luckily you're not forced to pick army leader stats if you just want a governor because you have this straight line here. He is alive again. I really need something to build in this city.
shouldn't be a while. Three of those, two of those. This one has higher population. And after that, reduce disapproval, definitely. Oh, this quest didn't finish, that means it actually has to be a new burrow. Two here, two here. I think I'm building something here. I see the set as level one, that's the harder hardest one to get, so if that actually completes at some point, I'll get the first part. Maybe I should have waited here, then I would have gotten a turn of regeneration. Centers need to do it manually now that my units are heavily wounded. This one would be a good one to get, I just don't have the influence right now. Maybe I don't need that. Is it just me or is this duration going up instead of down? No, it is going down. Twenty-four damage. Range slide gives attack or damage damage. one of those. Oh no. Oh, he has enough damage to kill them in one shot. That's of course nice.
as long as I end the turn in reinforcement range, it will be fine. Russell is city fortification. That as well for the health region. Maybe I'll actually make use of it at some point. Let's get three forest tiles instead of two. production. Always good. No, I want to remain inside the range of that. On the off chance that it actually has an effect the turn it's built. At least, you know. Great. Oasis, always good. Mineral rich. That's alright. Six industry is good. But only six feds from an anomaly is nothing special. That is where they come from then. Definitely want to settle close to the forest. There's a roaming demon, but there's a cliff edge, so they can't get to me. Unless they can fly over them, they are flying off the wall. This one done. Situation should improve. No. I really need the dust. 
then I'm gonna move away from that one. And be closer for my counter attack next turn. Because I'm expecting him to attack this turn. The negative bonus health regen. I think that's enough settlers for now. As it is, I've already seriously overextended myself. Ah, oh, cute. One, two, three, four, five, and now he has four range. One, two, three, four. It's fine. Oh, it's just the deployment phase, of course. crit there. Dangerous amounts of damage. That much is for sure. 60 initiative here and 60 here. So the strong ones are still alive. Are they hampered during winter in the movement? Don't seem to be. Or maybe their base movement is 8. Which I doubt. But they are very slow. So I can afford to ignore them for a single turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are my fast ones. I'll lose one leveled archer. No, I can't, in fact, move away. I 
can't prevent that attack. So I should focus everything else on the wargs. And on this one that's closer to this injured unit. Not that it'll stop them. might very well become two. Yep. That's interesting. More movement points than I have base movement. Let's chill around here. Get back to full health. Hundred and fifty dust. Don't object to that at all. Oh, it's the tech that gives me two movement when I have enemy units inside my vision at the start of the turn. could just settle on top of the Palladian to get the resource immediately. I'll do that. I'll have zero growth anyway. But I'll still mine some Palladian. This one, of course, no glass steel for that. And three demon villages definitely have to move in quickly with my army. <laughs> my army, so called.
I suppose, just expand downward in some kind of diagonal. Really need that tag right here. starve. Classic AI overestimating itself. Alright, this has been a comparatively long episode. Thank you for watching.